Ride for the Constitution is a deep-rooted, grassroots campaign of independent truck drivers. In their words, they are, quote, leading a convoy to deliver their trucker demands in their left hand and the U.S. Constitution and non-negotiable rights in their right hand. They took off this morning to the interstate surrounding D.C. to bring attention to their cause by backing up traffic. They are focused on two things. The first is excessive regulation in the trucking industry. They say Obama's policies are forcing truckers to work under minimum wage and putting a lot of people out of work. And here's what one of the drivers told me just about that. I'm fed up with people making laws and regulations that have never even worked in the industry. If you haven't been in a truck in your life, you don't deserve to be making rules for guys that are. But they are also upset with, and again, this is in their words, corrupt politicians attacking and eliminating our rights and liberties, which are protected by the Constitution. Now, this campaign started about a month ago, but it has escalated due to the administration's response to the government shutdown. We are here now at the World War II Memorial. An honor flight just took place with Congressman Louis Gohmert. And truckers were supposed to be here to give their list of demands to members of Congress, but they didn't show up. Traffic was so bad, they could not get here. But it's at the World War II Memorial where the last straw was broken for the truckers. The Obama administration closed the World War II Memorial on October 1st. However, just a couple feet away from here is the National Mall. And on Tuesday of this week, the administration allowed for a protest to take place for immigration reform. To put bluntly, Obama allowed for illegal immigrants to enter the National Mall while closing this memorial that was built with private funds to honor veterans. This has caused a lot of anger around the country. Here's what Representative Louis Gohmert told me. I've never seen so many uh, Park Service personnel out here at the Lincoln Memorial. You move a barricade and you get more Park Service people than, than I've ever seen in the whole mall. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's not saving any money for the close down to have this many people with this many barricades. Despite this, veterans have been able to enter the memorial. They pushed past the barricades the Park Service police put up, and Park Police have since changed the wording on the signs, allowing for First Amendment rights to be exercised here. Now, I spoke with General Lee. He's the truck driver coordinator for this event. I spoke with him last night. Here's how he put it. People are going to remember all this idiocy and foolishness during the shutdown. I believe uh, President Obama had a plan that he was going to take and punish the American people, but he went a little too far when he started shutting down war memorials for, like, the uh, greatest generation in our history. And again, he was supposed to be here for the honor flight and to give their list of demands to Congressman Gohmert. Some of their demands might dis uh, surprise you. Take a listen. Part of our agenda is we're calling for his resignation or impeachment, just like Morrissey in Egypt. And if we raise 100 million Americans across the country, we will demand his resignation or pressure the House and Senate to call for his impeachment on treason and fraud. Other than calling for Barack Obama to leave office, they are also demanding that the USA shall not support al-Qaeda, the debt ceiling shall not be raised, and the National Security Agency's surveillance of the entire world's communications must cease, among others. They're calling this a gas roots campaign. They proudly have 150,000 likes on Facebook, and they have launched a Twitter campaign at hashtag T2SDA. That's for truckers to shut down America. This is day one of their four-day campaign. They haven't quite shut down the country, but they are tooting their horns loudly, and they have been heard. In Washington, D.C., Perry and Boring, RT.